All right, so let me go ahead and break you guys off with a little uh, storytelling. Dreams of Hope and, and uh, Fusin, back when he was known as Kratheus. All right, I hope that's not giving away too much informa uh, ah, information here. I'm a little nervous, man. I don't know how this is going to play out, but uh, Fusin, he is a phenomenal player. I love his neutral. I love how he's able to piece together things that I didn't expect from, you know, a Shadow Vigil player. The way he plays neutral, the way he tries to use normals on the ground, how he's put together the tech, uh, TK fireballs, all the cool stuff, but still playing a great ground game. The only other Shadow Vigil back then I knew that was doing that was Nate. Um, of course, there's base, right? The Chronicles always had a sick Shadow Vigil, but I found it interesting that somebody that wasn't a god-level player, right? Guys that we know have been playing this game forever can do that. And you got Dreams of Hope. I've known him since 2017. Um, he's a phenomenal player, man. And he's only grown to get stronger. Dreams with the uppercut. I like his confirmed game. I like his precision. When Dreams is on, he will take the risk. He'll go for the reset. I'll bait you out. That was a beautiful break, though. Saying, you're not getting that past me. Try to win kick. Uppercutting the other side. It's little decisions like that. Where Dreams is like, all right, I know I'm going to land. And if I don't hit, at least let me defend myself with the DP. It's going to beat throw. It'll beat strike. It'll beat neutral jump. I'm putting that out there. Some people call it random. I call it life insurance. Love it, kid. I like this. Already putting together that HKD. Mr. Uh, Base, putting that out there for the world to see. Nice shadow counter. Wow, what a turnaround for that. I didn't even think that would catch. Who's right. in a spot where he's just got he's to shape up a little bit. Okay. Game one. Plus one right here. Very nice catch from Dream saying, look, I know you're plus here. But I'm going to throw this out. And what can you really do? If you have no meter to shadow counter, I'm afraid your right? Ends here. Even if you try to trade with me, it, it's it's in my favor. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. So I think all Fusa needs to really do is uh, play, play neutral, man. Play what I know he enjoys doing. He's got to play where he's strong. The fireball game is going to be in his favor. Because if Jago gets overzealous with fireballs, you're going to see slides happen. You're going to get your legs uh, clipped. Um, he's got mix-ups, but he doesn't need to go for anything too crazy in neutral. I think he needs to play out a smart neutral and only go for mix once he's got the life lead, right? Go for the safer mix options until he's really feeling himself, right? We all know that dive kick, if blocked, that's big punish right there, right? If it's not surged, that's, that's free opening right there. So I think Fusen going for strong uh, fireball pressure, right? Walk up short. Look at the confirm from this man. Nice jump in. Single layer mix. Nothing too crazy. Anybody can do a cross up. He's playing clean. Look at the movement. Gliding across the screen. Knowing I good I got good walk speed. I got better walk speed than you, Jago. The confirm. Look at the timing there. Delaying that jump. You can't do that to every character in the game though. You try doing that to Nate, you're going to eat an uppercut. You try doing that to uh, anybody that's got the crosscut game down, you're going to hold that. Ooh. What a performance. What a turnaround. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the, the delay. Look at the movement, the timing, how he pauses his offense. He's not playing scrambly. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. What a cash out! This guy's an absolute menace. Dreamzo played one hell of a damn game. Game one. He's locking it out. Hadouken. I love this. Look at this. And who said KI didn't have neutral? See, look. This man plays both of them. I can't even give credit to just one. They're playing a style that you don't see very often in Killer Instinct. Footsies! Ugh. What a confirm. 
Back when he was Kratheus, he was godlike. Dreams of Hope has been Dreams of Hope since I've known him. But they both, they're both fucking ridiculous, man. Showing that Killer Instinct can be played with mix-ups, it can be played slow. You can play your whole game plan completely different from another player. You ever go watch Kron, you watch Bass, you watch Nate, any other shot. There was a Shadow Jago player back in the day, uh, GZ Beyond. I used to bump into him quite a bit. And I always thought it was so impressive how he would take his time with Shago and just whittle away at my life bar and never ever really had to try to blend me to death. He would just try to outplay me. And once I found out, oh, he's not gonna go for a random mix, he's not gonna teleport or dash here, dash there, like left and right nonstop, shit, okay. And when he finally decided to switch to that, it made it difficult. So what Fusen is doing right now is leaving the option open of, look, I can let you think that I'm going to play tried and true, right? Walk in, walk out, walk up, micro walks, you know, do anything just to get you to stutter, to move, to jump, to dash. Figure out what you like to do and play it slow, or I can go absolutely batshit insane, and you're going to have to play my game. If you had to ask me my per uh, personal opinion, I think Shadow Jago does win this matchup. I don't think it's unwinnable. I don't think that it's impossible by any means. I just think in neutral, it definitely favors the fact that he's got better walk speed, faster fireball, can slide under Jago for trying to throw fireballs and just completely blow him up for that. So much. All right. Gotta stay active here. Plus one. Look at that knowing. You can't just travel horizontally. I'm plus one. And these guys are fucking awesome. What a dragon punch, buddy. I can't let you do that. What is spacing on the stand roundhouse? I wonder if Hope knows that by doing that, that's safe. Normally it's a minus six situation, but maybe it's spacing just uh, well enough. I'm not sure if it's because Fusen just didn't feel confident in trying to pump a jab there, or if it really is spaced enough to where it doesn't matter that it's minus six. So you can. Overhead. Oh yeah, you gotta dig it, man. Phenomenal players just trying to show that they have neutral, they have the ability to come back and play clean. Ooh, what an anti air! Dream is just really impressing me right now with the Jago. But you cannot sleep on Fusen. See, this is what happens when a guy has the confidence to play neutral and finds an opening. He can start running away with the match like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. That. That was ridiculous. Fucking go, man. I just want to say one time if you guys are a fan of both of these uh, players right now running it, please let them know in the chat. I don't know if Fusin is, is watching. Uh, I'll definitely send him a message after. Uh, I've been um, a fan for a long time. We don't talk very often, but whenever I bump into him, it's always. It's always a, a hell of a, a performance that I see him putting out there. Even if it's just me catching on, on someone's stream, he happens to show up, he's running a match. Um, I love it, man. I love the fact that he knows at any point he can go for all the craziest stuff, but he's confident in playing fundamentally sound and then evolving everything out of that. And Dreams has the same skill set. He's very fundamentally sound, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher for him. He's not going to be able to just walk down Shadow Jago for free. He can't throw fireballs and get away with it, right? He's got to really pick his spots. He might have to bulldog his way in. He might have to, you know, snipe with a wind kick here and there, but he's got to look for it. He's got to look for the lows. He's got to look for an opportunity to catch through some slipping. And that fireball is so quick that trying to wind kick from uh, bad ranges, it's just going to force you to eat plasma. These two. No Dragon Punch anti-air. I was definitely hoping to see that. One of the reasons that I prefer seeing a Dragon Punch anti-air off of regular jumps like that is it's something that you get this big amount of damage for, especially on counter hit. 
And you know that anti-air is going to hit. They're not hitting you out of that. They jump in unless they teleport or have some crazy kind of quad jump setup like Gargos. You got to hold that. Dreams. Saying my skill does not require hope. It requires finesse. Hi, 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 hi. Very nice play. Uppercut? No, he dashed forward. What a sick play. I would have got fucked up for that. I love that. He dashed, knowing there might be some teleport action. Look at the bait right there. Evolving his game plan, saying, I'm not just going to charge the fireball and let it go. I'm out of there. Back dash. Look at that single layer. When I say single layer mix up, it's like, uh, what's he gonna do? You see the jump, and then you gotta determine whether or not it's left or right, you know? Is it gonna be high or low, and then you see the button come out. It's nothing too crazy. It's not a fireball, teleport, flip, double jump, jet pack. Oh my god, I couldn't see it coming. Alright. And this fireball action. Usain using his instinct. He could have whip punished that there. Usain showing that respect, saying, alright, it's dreams of hope. Let me get it together here. Tick throw. I like his juggles, man. Right at the tip of the sandal. Like, look. It's going to juggle. I'm going to go fireball. I got it. Come here. Dash up laser sword. I love it. Plus, the hitbox is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. We got to hand. I had to stop for a second. That was... Very beautiful to watch, man. The neutral from both sides. Um, the decision making from Hope, dashing in areas where he could have uppercutted, but he knew. Look, Fusen's smart. He's not going to eat this uppercut for free because I froze the game. He's going to mix me up. I'll dash to the other side. I'll look for it. Now, Fusen has to think shit, I can't just jump teleport because if he freezes the game, he'll dash. So now Fusen's got to think, all right, is he going to. You know, is he going to dash? Is he going to block? Will he go for uppercut? Will he just, you know, stand there? I mean, shit. The possibilities become, I don't want to say endless, but they expand, right? They grow once you realize, okay, he's not doing the same stuff every single time he activates and freezes the game. Man, this guy's neutral is fucking incredible, and my man Dreams of Hope is making this look even better. The only reason that this looks as good as it does when Fusen does take a match is because Dreams is an absolute fucking menace as well. Look at that! Counter hit! I'm throwing out the sandal. I got him too. Very smart from Hope knowing, look, I ain't gonna get ripped up by that. Counter hit! Auto double, again, signs of a high level player not willing to just break the first thing that he sees. That shows the level of respect that he has for Hope, knowing Hope can play the break game, the counter break game. He can play both sides of it. It's a sweep there. Dash up on him. Ew, buttons. This is uh, good season 2022. I love it. Charging early block. No, he rips an uppercut. What? Oh my God, dreams. I don't know how intentional any of that was, but I respect it. Yep, you gotta get away from me. I got instinct to make it uh make it happen here. Yo, what a blow up! I, you cannot tell me that was not godlike. He used stand forward. Nobody ever uses that fucking button. The only person I used to see use that back in the day when I would play uh Jago Blake would hit me with that. Now I'm sure Tommy used it. I'm sure Nate knows what's up. Right, Lunars, the whole Jago army. The fact that he chose stand forward there, that shit just looked amazing. Backdash, trying to bait something out of Fusen. Ooh, what a confirm. Dreams, not, ooh, what a, what a break. He's not falling for the auto double, but broke the heavy linker. Oh my goodness. Your legs. Shadow? What? What a turnaround. So sick. Look, Fusen knew I could squeeze this shadow slide in during the lockout window. You'll get to break one. You'll maybe even get to break two, but you won't get to break three. And this guarantees my victory right now.
Look, man, I've thought that these two were ridiculous since way back, right? These are guys I'd run into, and I'm like, how how do I beat these guys, man? Right? You know, I'm over there trying to uppercut Fusen, and he's like, well, I'm going to teleport, and you're going to get fucked up for that. Dreams with the sickest wolf play back then, right? Just clipping me up, low strong, blowing up double kicks, all these different things, watching the way that their neutral has evolved over the years, or the game plan, and I never would have thought, okay, Dreams is going to rock Jago. I've seen him use Omen. Um, I believe he even has uh, Rash under his uh, arsenal of characters, but then, you know, the wolf that I've known him for, there's quite a few characters Dreams has messed around with. But watching this matchup, I'm actually really impressed with Dreams. Saying, look, I'm not going to counterpick. I'm going to use that old Tibetan ancient Himalayan Blade of Truth right now. I'm about to carve you up real nice. Let's go. Plus two. Look at the delay. Yep, made it. All right, locking it out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Dash up. Trying to get in on him. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I like the hit confirm. Usain choosing to break. Such a cool looking hit confirm off the fireball, but it is breakable and it sucks putting yourself in a counter break situation where you either let it rock and get broken, you let it rock trying to counter break and you're right with golden, or you try to counter break and they're like, ooh, who are you jumping at? Don't jump at me. God. What, what a blow up on the stand here. That's rough to see that happen. Shoryuken. Ooh, that dash again. Dream is so slippery. Come on, me to never play these two. I'll get fucked up. Hadouken. I just like the hell out of these players. If anybody is watching and you guys like what you're seeing right now, please hit Nate with the follow, all right? Hit him with the subscription, and Please, like, support this guy. Give me a like bar. Oh, my goodness, man. This is turning up, dude. I can't. I'm trying to be respectful here. I'm trying to be calm and collected, Mike, but I can't right now. Minus one. Back dash. Nope, we're going to trade DPs. Yo, what a pop. Ah, my God. Plus one. It well, actually, I'll block it. On hit, you're just getting fucked up. What are you doing? Yeah, you got to watch that. That's minus four or close like that. What a pick up. I'm out of it! Hit him with the Tony Jaw. That shit's dope. I love this thing to be in front of close. Okay, back dash. Ooh, baby! Dash it up! Oh my god! Wilson was expecting something else, man. I feel like he was looking for the jump. He was looking for maybe a fireball. He was looking for a button. Oh my goodness. Look, man. I am getting way too old for my heart to be jumping around like this, man. Welcome. HP is negative. Uh, yo. Heart, what were you referring to in that situation? I'd like to go over that. I, I like when uh, when Heart's active in the chat, man. One of the guys that I feel like I've always gotten along with. I, I don't think Heart and I have ever really even disagreed on much because we seem to find some way to meet in the middle and figure out, you know, what's going on. Shoutouts to him, man. All right. Intro's rocking again. Giving me some time to drink coffee and rethink my life choices, man. Am I even going to live long? Look, you guys are lucky that I shave my head and have no hair because I would already be losing hair from watching all this stuff happen. The resets, the comp. Oh, my God, man. Let's go. All right, getting things started. Dreams of Hope looking for some opportunity to just swing overhead. Look at that hit confirmed. You can tell that he truthfully confirmed it because if you ever watch... Any high level Jago, right? You ever watch him base, even Night Slash, you got a really good Jago. Nate, Hot Rod, Fatal Fox, guys that, you know, they're working on their Jago. 
you'll see even Zenkai, they'll, they'll delay that back fierce, right? They'll do it, or rather, not the back fierce itself, but the wind kick that comes after it. So you can see they visually saw hit on the medium wind kick going in. Oh, that probably was meant to be fireball. There's no way he went for a DP there. Footsies, stop it. You're absolutely right, uh, my man, uh, but standing hard punch from far away while it's minus six, um, it's a range dependent type thing if you can even punish that at all. Now, if you got meter, certain moves that can definitely blow that up. But that part is where labbing comes into uh, the play. Look at Hope was looking for that uppercut, but he waited. You could see him pump faking right there. I think he was looking to, ooh, speaking fancy ears. He was looking to rip that uppercut, tell him who the fuck are you jumping at, man? Stop. Looking for the Thompson, right? Fireball Shadow Lincoln. I like the way he uses that button, man. Such a rarely used button. Oh my goodness. Usen with the pickup. Yeah, that was a, a game of chicken, and Usen said, look, I'm going to keep driving right at you. You can veer off the side of the road if you want. I'm not stopping. Yeah, standing heavy punch, if you're talking about st uh, far standing heavy punch from Jago, it's minus six. Chat, just so you know, uh, these are sets that usually get uploaded to YouTube. Um, it's not meant to be any kind of, hey, look, you lost, we put it on YouTube. Or, oh, hey, look, I won, I put it on YouTube. It's something that I think Nate has wanted to do for a long time and just, you know, put players out there, man. So don't ever take it wrong, guys. This is your chance to put your stuff out there as well. There's absolutely no pressure, man, other than you playing to improve yourself or even shit just to get chat, chat hype. I can't even speak right now, man. Why do you guys let me do this? All right, intro's rocking again. All right, Dreams of Hope asking a few questions there. Nate probably going to hook him up with some info. I'm going to try to stay active on what we're looking at now. There's a couple ways to deal with these fireballs. If they're fast enough and you have the timing, you can low forward, low profile under it, right? Crouch medium kick. For you guys that don't know, right? Everybody out there, low forward is crouch medium kick, all right? I have a habit of saying forward, strong, jab, short, fierce, roundhouse. That's because I'm old. Oop. I'm out of there with five. Ooh, look at the hit confirm. Sweet. No, he wanted to dash up, maybe get the flip out. Looking for a little mini mix there. All right. How far do we take it? Oh, no, we're punished there, but good stuff from Kusin just trying to fish for normals uh, in neutral. Ooh. I like that. Fireball. Left a little delay. Went to a plus one option. Hope gonna run away with this round. Oh yeah, that's that good stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you gotta hand it to these two, man. Putting on a hell of a show. Look, this could be the last set I ever commentate, and I would be happy with it because this is showing a different layer of Killer Instinct, right? It's showing the counter break breaks. But it's also showing lift punishes. It's showing, uh, you know, side switches, dash throughs, dash unders, right? Things that not everybody does, or not everybody does consistently enough. But the, uh, the players putting that on uh, on display, excuse me, allows other players to kind of think, oh man, maybe I could try that, you know? Maybe I'll look for some dash throughs or dash unders in my gameplay, and see what I can get out of it. You know, when we do this stuff, it's to make sure that people see. We got some godlike players out there. People looking to get better. People like Hope, people like Putin that can uh, swing these buttons. You're not throwing. Oh my god, I'm getting the snipe of a century. Just keeping you out of the air. Oh, pick up. That's breakable. Yep. Oh, I'm walking out. He just walked away from that. 
he didn't crouch block. Notice what Dreams is doing. He's not crouch blocking. He's holding either left or right. Whether it's for a dash or a walk, a micro step. What the fuck is going on? I don't know what the hell these guys had for breakfast, for lunch, if they've had coffee. Man. I gotta hand it to y'all. These players are on one. All right, I don't know if Nate answered the question earlier. I'm gonna take a look. Uh, Dream saying, what strength of fireball is good after stand fierce? I wanna make sure questions get answered. Um, I'm very bad at p keeping up with everything in chat, guys. So forgive me. Don't take anything personal if you say anything and I somehow miss it. We got two really awesome players just running it right now. And this matchup is interesting to watch, seeing Dreams try to evolve his play, uh, showing the utmost humility right now, asking, what, what's a good option here? Hey, Nate, if I do Fierce, man, what strength of Fireball? I'm willing to throw it out. What should I do? Right? What's going to give me uh, the tightest block string? Or what's going to keep me as safe as you know possible? Usain getting started early. What a confirm! See, both fireballs hit. Alright, see you next time. Yeah, we got the links dropped in chat right now. One, two, three, four, five. Dream's so patient right now, man. I love it. I love that he's not just fishing for a break. I, I think he's trying to recalibrate his mind. To stay prepared, look at swinging the strong, able to recover right after. That's a beautiful choice from Pusin, even though it was just a whiff, right? You're like, what's so great about that? He's just swinging medium punch. He challenged and was able to recover and not get punished. That's the beautiful part about it. Oh my goodness, what a blow up right there. Spacing that fireball in the air so correctly, surging, two of them coming out, uppercut whiffing. Pusin staying in the lead, surge with a barb meter. There's just so much going on for him. So much going right. And notice how Fusunen will walk back knowing he has a superior walk speed. He'll block something, move out, but he's not walking himself to the corner. Oh my goodness. I really hope that both players can go back and just uh, look at what they did right, what they did wrong. What a hit confirm. Put it together. Oh my goodness. You can't get this dash and whip throw. The Dreams did not get that uh, pickup he wanted. He got the low short, but it was so far that he needed to single hit confirm off of it. He picked the fastest button. Maybe if it had been a low forward, it would have given him a little more time. Most players looking for that uh, jab, jab, light kick, light kick type uh, confirm. And in that case, Hope unable to secure that. Ooh, sliding in on him. Oh, we got Hart in the chat giving some uh, some analysis here. I like it. We got players trying to, you know, give the uh, the call out. Like, hey, wait, wait, wait. I think I know what he's looking for. Be on the lookout. Right, Stay up first. Ooh. What the? Yo. You fly, I fly. We're both going to win. Oh, my goodness. What? It just seems like Fusen is just right there with just enough damage output to finish off the round you know get the meter he needs or set up the juggle ender or have you know level two level three whatever he's looking for it seems like he's always just right there to get what he wants On a side note, um, oh my goodness, Nate, what have you started, man?
What have you started, man? Woo! All right, we're gonna try to continue this session. Back after it. Both players obviously have a lot of respect for each other. Who's in a very, very uh, humble man. Same thing with dreams. But they came to swing. They came to throw them butt. Mm -hmm. Gotta blow up the upper butt. One of the strongest tools Jago has. And when it gets taken away from them, whether it's because it can't hit, it'll lift, because of quad jump, because of jump on Rio space correctly, or just because the opponent knows you want uppercut, man, it sucks to get that move uh, punished. And just see little success with it. Lucin right now trying to just control all of the neutral. Try to take advantage of every mistake that Dreams is making. There's too big of a gap there. Those players out there that have gotten to the point of facing Jago enough will know, hey, I can just buffer. And if there's a gap, my Shadow Invul will go straight through it, right? Shadow Slide, Shadow Wing Kick, Shadow uh, Rekka, whatever move you have with your character, and you're getting through that every time. Oh my goodness. What a performance, man. What a performance. What a play, man. What a play. Uh, also, just so you know, uh, Hart, um, so anytime Jago players do like wind kick and a shadow fireball or anything that's minus six, um, Ragged Edge will punish it. Um, I've bumped into Paul B like in rank like, whew, like months and months ago, Cyber Wolf, uh, a few other wolves that are really, really competent, and they know, oh, sh hey, he tried to do wind kick, shadow fireball to make it safe. That's not real. Like, I can, I'm punishing that. It's not keeping him safe. And shadow ragged edge is usually the answer. Exactly. So, and that's smart, uh, but I'm just putting that out there. That's probably the reason you can consistently get um, Stand Fierce, minus six. But back to it. If you're just joining us once again, Fusen dreams of hope, Shadow Jago Jago. Fusen on a tear, hope trying to mount that offense, figure out a way to stop this menace. I have to say, this is some of the most calculated and well-timed uh, placement of pokes that I've seen in players, you know. Especially because we don't always see the style. You'll see very pressure-heavy options. You'll see people that can mix you, and that's all you'll see. But the fact that these two are willing to trade and go back and forth, look for the whiff punish, place fireballs correctly, try to bait out each other's options. For the sweep. You swim with the background house. Gets his damage, not enough to kill. Dream's got to find a way to pop. Just going to wake up and do it. The stutter, that little delay. Maybe. Right, go ahead. I don't want you to do that on block. I love that. That put us to sick. I like how he baited that. Like, just waited for it. He's like, yo, you thought? Nah, I got it. What? What a big brain. He's like, look, man, this is what instant does. I'm taking advantage of it. Plus one. And then swing strong, just in case. No wind kick, right? No walk forward. That strong was just ready. Mm, forward, heavy kick. Delay. Knows that he can hit something after. Can look for a uh, back roundhouse. Need the hope. Trying to meet him in the middle. Okay, look, hold this one kick. Hi. Hi, hi. Footsies! Oh my god. The footsies from these two have been absolutely phenomenal. Ooh, hit confirm. Shadow DP. It's taken a bit of a nerf over the years. Hope trying to squeeze in whatever damage he can. 
Oh my god, there was no uppercut from Hulk! I don't know if that was gonna be the the outcome no matter what happened, but I was expecting a heavy DP there. Goodness gracious. Hope started going in and Fusen said, look, man, Mikey, I, I got to put everything out there, man. I got to show the world what I'm capable of. You're about to see some shit right now. All right, we're sitting on potentially the last game. Um, it's been one heck of a ride, everybody. everybody is enjoying what they're seeing right now, please let me know. All right. Potentially the last game. I got to hand it to both players. I'm not worthy of this uh, honor to be able to do this for the community. But here I am. So thank you to anybody that's listened to what I put out there, for what Nate's been putting forth. Dreams of Hope looking to swing for more than his final game. Nate's saying, hey man, extend that combo with it. Get that damage. They go through kill. I will say that, you know, even with nerfs over the years, Jago, he can still hurt. He can put on some damage. You just gotta find a way to set it up. Oh my goodness. Who's someone with the uh, walk up and dreams with the walk back looking to try to snipe with low forward? Oh, buddy. No, you don't. We got me too. Even on a hit. Hitting the jab, going for a throw. I love the way these locomals are coming out. Up the cut. So smooth, right? What an answer, man. He just said, look, I know exactly what to do here. I'm not getting away with him. Haruk. Looking for an uppercut? He got a wing kick as an answer. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh. Shadow DP, I don't know what he's expecting there. Maybe he was looking for a huge call out. I don't know what he was looking for. It could have potentially been an accident. You never know. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Houston loves neutral and hope has to try to find a way to close the gap. So do you can. All right. He's still got instinct. He's got a bar. He can do this, man. Fishing for low forward. No, with punish. That's going to be a shadow counter punish right there. Is that enough? Jeez, geez. MSF Houston, dreams of hope. That was a damn good set, man. What a set. I'd actually like to see them play again sometime. GG, that was tough. That was tough. Um, shout out to Poos and the Dreams. I hope to come through and bless us with that, uh, that five killer instinct cut, um, content with the five first of ten. Shout out to Mikey with the uh, commentary. Um, I do have another set lined up. I do want to get um, some one on one time with Dreams and um, Dark Knight because um, I like the way you guys are playing the neutral, but like, when it came to the confirms, uh, you guys dropped a lot of confirms. Um, and that was the, with Dark Knight the other day when he played. And even right then, Dreams, when you were going for your combos, man, like against Shadow Jigo, you don't really necessarily have to do much or injure as much because you gotta realize something. Even with, you know what I'm saying, you, you beat him damage wise. You need to be piling on some of that damage early on so where you, you can get a corner push right. And on his wake up, he doesn't have like. You know, uh, a shadow move to get through, right? You can play some fireball out there on his wake up to stop a vertical DP or even a back dash. You know, say so you wanna, you wanna, you wanna take advantage of that situation. You wanna confirm off those type of things. Sometimes you get a fireball and you will try to win kick and you, you whiff. Also, when he was sticking out his forward heavy kick move, you can whip punish that. But win kick, you can literally react and whip punish that with win kick if it whips. So it's just like one of those things. We're gonna buckle down. We're gonna see about media awareness and um. Just like the little things here and there, like confirming. Outside of that, with GG's, it was fire.
Let's see, who do we have next? Um, yeah, this confirms, confirms, confirms. Man. Confirms are real. Like you gotta have those. Like if you play a Jago, you have to be able to confirm. You have to be able to get your health back. You gotta be able to anti-air. You have to be able to, to um, those regular jumps. You have to be able to DP. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna play that character, you have to be able to do that. Those things for sure. Um, I'm not sure if Mikey is still around right now. Uh, I know he's still in the party, but um, it looks like he got kicked from the lobby. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going for a little resets here and there. Sometimes you just need to pile on the damage. Because sometimes you just open it up with a, a one chance light laser sword and you were doing like a, a, a wall splat. You feel me? When in reality, you're supposed to be testing Fusen's breaking ability. And if he locks out early, you're supposed to be piling on that damage with a Tiger Fury's uppercut. And a lot of those games were real for the taking because, you know what I'm saying? You just dropped the combo. So, outside of that, everything was good. Now you good, you good, you good, you good. I'm just gonna get with you, we're gonna level that up. That's all. That's what it's about. Well, next, I gotta see what's up with, um, with Mikey. You know what I'm saying? I, I do this with Mikey. You know what I'm saying? If, if he's busy or something, or if something's happening, I postpone it until then, but if he's ready to run more, I'm down for it. You know, so I just don't ever want to kill my commentary. You know what I'm so, if he needs a break, he gets a break. Whatever he needs. I definitely have a match of next though, like. I have one. On um, Dark Knight. I wanna see those confirms, man. I want to see those anti airs. More importantly, though, I really do want to see those confirms. You end up leaving a lot of opportunity off the table when you um, don't confirm or stuff like that. I see him on, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. All right, Dark Knight, I'm about to invite you to the. Okay, you say you got a different tag, right? Oh my God. Uh, the the recent play of it. You guys need to stick with one tag, man, so people can find y'all all times. You feel me? Um, what is it? Booty Bandit 47. I bet. Invite the game. All right, hit Y when you come in, Dark Knight. Uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, hit Y, hit Y. I need you to wild just in case Mikey comes in. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. 
Nah, 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 nah. Not that one, not that one. That's a little too, uh, a little too easy for him. I want something to challenge Dark Knight. Let's see. All right, you you gonna play, bro? You gonna play hard? You can play, bro. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I just I just really want to get full first attempts, y'all. So if y'all got the time, if you you know what I'm saying, if you know you're gonna be short on time, you know what I'm saying, I can postpone it until later. You know what I'm saying? Cause I really want to get the first attempts so I can upload them. So when you come in, try to finish the set. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all. I got you heart, man. Um, you're not online, are you? When you come in, hit why? I'm gonna send you an invite. All right. I need y'all be in pocket so we make this move as smooth as possible. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know I don't want people waiting around all day. For the six, but just get him and get him going in. I'm gonna keep it going. I can get as many possible in and keep it going without slowing down. You plan spawn him, you better play your character that you know you're gonna try to level up with. That's how I tell people this all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can try the different characters, play a character that you know you can play. Like, you need to learn matchups. If you got a main character, bro, try to learn some of your losing matchups too. You know? Um. And stick with it because you end up bouncing around all the time. You're gonna end up losing match, losing match. You're not gonna find a groove with your main character. Like, just be aware that you're free. For, you're you're free to play whoever you want to play. Just know that you know. Bring bring that sh bring that fire. Bring that fire, bro. Like for real. Because with y'all in the chat, you know, in the chamber chat, I'm just gonna shoot back some information to y'all. Like you know what I'm saying. I already got where I want to show dreams. I already know, like, most of this stuff is confirming, like, and um, optimizing combos and, like, being aware of meter, like, your opponent's meter. Like, okay, I shouldn't be throwing fireballs now because he has a block of meter. Like, if I do play throw a fireball, I should fake out, you know what I'm saying, make him blow his meter. At that point, I can throw fireballs. At the, at the worst case scenario, he's going to either have to block, jump over, or slide under you know what I'm saying? And depending on your spacing, you might be able to throw a fireball out and recover in time before you, the slide even get there. It's just one of those things you have to be you have to be aware of meter. You have to be. When you're playing a fighting game, you gotta be aware of meter. It's gonna tell you a story, man. It's literally gonna tell you a story. You see it you, you not you not shadow jiggle down right and he has a bar of meter, at that point Instantly, it has to be a button that flips in your mind. Like, okay, right now I'm gonna pump fake my fireballs. If I'm gonna move forward, I'm gonna pump fake that shit. You know what I'm saying? If I get him to do a shadow on freeze, all you have to do is input DP or wind kick for the combo confirm. You feel me? If you just want an outright damage combo, I mean damage hit, and you're close enough, it's definitely an uppercut. But since the fact that Shadow Jago slides, you can wind kick and get a cold combo confirm. So it's like one of those things you gotta react. On the freeze frame, you can't be pressing the button before the freeze frame. You feel me? The freeze frame is there for you to input. The input. A lot of people get that totally twisted. That's why a lot of shadows going the game go unbeaten. A lot of shadows are raw and they can be beat out, like dead ass be beat out. I got you. I send you. I send you another one. Hit Y when you come in. No one should be doing like raw shadows. Like, 
like that all the time, get you. Let's say that it's some almond property or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Most of this shit can be beat up. Um, I'm not sure where Mikey's at. Um... Oh no, you good, you good. Okay. I think I think Mikey's having some Xbox issues. So what I'll do is we can still run the uh, set. Now I don't come and say um so I'm just gonna let the, the sets play out. I know I'll be on here, you know what I'm saying? I'll do my thing. But at least you'll still have the action. And I'll still upload these um uh, sets and everything. Um I know X his Xbox overheated right now. So I'm pretty sure he's having some type of issue. I know he's been having issues all day. So Hart, I sent you an invite. What up, what up, Quincy? Yo, um, Dark Knight, send Hart an uh, invite. He might, he maybe didn't get it. No one's getting my invite for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. There we go. Hey, you guys can go ahead and start the set. Um, uh, Mikey won't be here right now for the commentary. But like, you guys can go ahead and start the set. Why up? Yeah, I'm down, Truth. You already know I'm down. Hell yeah. Um, probably after this right here, um, we can get some games in. I'm going to let them do a first to ten. Um, commentary's not going to be there because of Mikey's um, Xbox is overheating right now. He has some issues. But outside of that, enjoy the matches. Uh, Paul B, I'll catch up with you too. Uh, I definitely got to get you on the channel.